Hey everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. So today I am going to uh, do a flower blossom technique with my blow dryer here. This is a technique I learned from another YouTuber who's also on Instagram. Her name is, I'm going to butcher it, I'm sure, Rinsky Juna. I'll, I promise I'll post all her, her name and her link to her YouTube and Instagram in the uh, info below. Um, so I learned this from a YouTube tutorial that she um, has on her channel and she's an amazing artist. So I did a few of these yesterday on a small 10 by 10 canvas, but they're upstairs drying. So let's get started. So what I have here is a 20 inch round wooden board. And underneath I have these awesome silicone things. They're actually for making baking cakes. Um, these are absolutely amazing. They are very sturdy, hold a lot of weight, and it does not move very much. Um, so we're gonna start off with some white paint. I use Artist Loft white paint uh, mixed in with Floetrol. And that's all it is, just white paint and Floetrol. You don't want it to be super thick. You want it to be a little runny. Uh, try and get that without a shadow in there. You just, you don't want it too thick. You don't want a mound on a mound. You just want it to be thin consistency. So what I'm gonna do is cover this all. Probably should get some gloves. Or one glove. And just spread it around. Cover the whole surface. Cover the edges, the sides as well. Oops. Now this is my first time doing this on such a big piece. As I said, I've done it on a 10 by 10 canvas. I did three of them last night. I wanted to keep going with different color combos, but I guess you gotta stop somewhere, right? for one night at least. All right, so that looks pretty covered. Looks pretty good. All right, lovely. Let's get rid of that. Next, you need one of these. Good old culinary torch. You need to pop all the little bubbles on here. Just gets rid of all the bubbles. We don't want bubbles. Perfect. So the colors I am using, pull them up here and you can see. We have this brand, Pebeo, PBO, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but it's called Iridescent Blue Green. Then we have Dioxazine Purple by Liquid Text Basics. And then some Primary Blue, again, Liquid Text Basics. And finally, Phthalo Blue from Academy. 
So they all have Floetrol in them and just some paint. Again, you don't want it to be uh, thick. You want a very watery, thin consistency. Nothing, nothing too thick. So in here, I have just Floetrol and again, the White Artist Loft paint makes it super easy for applying paint where you need it. So I think I am going to start off with this light turquoise. Now what you want to do is start in the bottom. You don't want to be in the middle, somewhere down here, not too far down to the bottom, but just about here. So I'm just going to pour a big mound. I figure the more paint, the better. If you don't have enough, then you won't have enough to spread around with the hair dryer after. So we'll do purple. Okay, hopefully this works out. This is big, so hopefully it works out the way I plan. We'll find out. Add the blue. And finally, dark blue. Should be good then this is why this comes in really handy what you want to do is put a bunch of white paint around just like I said better enough than too much than not enough and I'm gonna pop some more bubbles Okay, and then, so I have this cheap $10 hair dryer that I got from Walmart, but it didn't come with this attachment. This came with my actual hair dryer. Um, so I'm using this and I just taped it on with some painter's tape. Seems to do the trick. So I'm just gonna come around to the other side of the table and one more time, I'm going to put a bunch of white paint just here, because what you're gonna do after is blow the paint over. So, the more the better. And this is facing, I guess, downward, so I'm not, I don't like it that way, so I actually hold it upside down. And I always blast it on high, um, not low because low is just not enough power so you want to turn it on and the key is to get all that white paint to blow over this colored paint so let's see what happens all right so as you can see all the white paint has gone over the other colors. So I'm just gonna leave that for a minute and come back to the other side. And as, I don't know if you can see, probably if I move the camera, I won't be able to put it back in the same spot, but there's a bunch of beautiful little turquoise cells just popping up here. Probably can't see that, but I'll bring you in for a close up after. So after you've blown it this way, now you wanna blow it all that way. And I'm just gonna add a little extra paint here. And then there's a big air bubble here, so I'm gonna give that a pop. All right, so again, I'm holding the blow dryer upside down and I'm not blowing it this way. I wanna blow it that way because it's got a wider section to blow the air. So let's see what happens going the other way.
going to stop there. You can keep going and blow it all over if you want, but I like to leave some white negative space. So also what you can do is just now use your lungs and blow some of the spots up here. Just be careful that A, you don't get your hair in there because I did that last night and got white hair everywhere. Um, or if you have a necklace hanging, you don't definitely don't want that in there because my blue paint got all over my necklace as well. So you want to be careful and you can just simply blow. a bit you could also use a straw which I don't have one down here and I'm not running up to the kitchen to get one because I'm in the basement so no straw tonight but a straw also works very very well gotta make sure I don't touch that which I think I did Yep, I did. See? Touched it right there. <laughs> Here we go. I think I like that. And I think I'm actually going to leave it just like that. So then again, this thing comes in so handy. What you want to do is add white, thicken it up because I can kind of see the board in some spots. So you want to layer that up and just get all the board covered wherever you see any spots or here where my girls <laughs> touch the canvas. So. And then you can just use a little popsicle stick to help spread it around. Being careful not to actually touch the colored paint. So add a little more there, a little there. You could also use one of those little spatula, I don't know what they call them. I do know, but it's not coming to mind right now. So I'm gonna add some more here. White is your friend. <laughs> There's no such thing as using too much white paint. The best part is you can get it in a really big bottle and it's very inexpensive. So there's a few bubbles where I just poured all the new white paint. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. Now, if you want, you can torch parts of here and cells will pop up. Um, I don't wanna do any on the outside, but I can definitely do some here and see what, what happens. You don't want to torch too close because you'll burn it or just singe the paint. You definitely don't want to do that. And if you do, do it, if you do it too close, you'll get a cluster of cells and you don't want that either. So start high and see what happens. There's a bunch of little clusters popping up there. Guess I should go a little closer. Yep. There's the purple coming out, little tiny purple cells. There you go, see, there they're popping up right there. 
paint is pretty thick here, so that's probably why not much is popping up. I think I'm running out of heat here. I think I'm happy with that. You also want to just make sure you have your edges. Just run your hand across. Heck, put some on your finger, run it across. Once this dries, I am going to give it a good coat of uh, art resin and put a beautiful shine to it. Art resin will also bring out the colors, make them pop. There we go. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I like the way it looks. I don't wanna mess with it too much because once you mess with it, you can't go back. So I love it the way it is. And I'm going to bring you in for a close up without dropping my camera into the painting. Can't really see what I'm doing. I should probably take it off the tripod, but let's see if I can take it off. Maybe it'll be better. One second. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's see here. Oh, there goes my tripod. Oh well. So there's some beautiful cells there. Bunch of pretty ones here. Nice little cluster here. Wonder if I turn it around. Well, that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. Please subscribe. As I said, I just started my channel, first video. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any comments, opinions, give it a th thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.